Okay guys, well, here you have it. The new lineup of, they're calling the carbon fiber or the hydro dipped. Um, right now, FarmerTech, Holtz Pharma, whatever, only has it in these two models, with the 660 and the 372. We'll talk a little bit about those in this video today. It's all about farmer tech, Chinese aftermarket stuff today, guys. So if you're if you're looking for OEM, this might not be the video for you. <laughs> this is aftermarket today. Um, first off, we'll start off. This is mostly going to be about the 372 today. I've been getting quite a few uh, requests to make a video like this. So anyway, here it is. First off, years ago when farmer tech holtz farmer was just getting started th this is the saw if you wanted a 372 this is the one you would get it now they had it in the 372 version or the 365 version they call this a 372 um i think let's see if we can look they're starting starting to put uh serial numbers or whatever uh, a little bit on them Anyway, they still call this a 372. It's just got the 365, uh, here at least here in the US, the US 365 style, not the high top or not the HD filter. Anyway, uh, so first off, they were orange. I don't know, they changed colors. I'm sure they got in trouble for copying the exact color of the OEM saws at the time. So I don't think think you can get this anymore i think you can order orange and then assemble it yourself in the do-it-yourself kit okay um and now the blue ones are what they're currently making right now you can buy those in kit form and or pre-assembled i wonder if that's broke that looks like it i don't know if they made it like that or that one broke in shipping see Anyway, lots lots of things happen in shipping. We get these all the time, and the dogs are bent, especially on the steels. The dogs bend so easy. Sometimes they'll show up with handles broken. So um, they're really good about that stuff. If you send them a picture and be like, hey, this arrived damaged, they'll usually send me out what I need immediately or to the customer who bought the saw. Um, okay, going down the line. I think these are a little beefier nowadays. I like it. This is black. These old ones were gray. At very first, these break. These brakes were really cheap. You, you'd be cutting it and you hit that quick, your brake, and this would just break right off. So I know for a fact over time they've, I don't know if they went to a different factory or they just hardened the material. Okay, I can, you can, they're already a different color. Um, anyway, okay, let's get to the one you want to talk about today. First off, this is pretty neat. It comes with full wrap handle. Just haven't assembled it all the way yet and it looks pretty good it looks you know almost like oem style pretty pretty healthy pretty well built uh, i was gonna go into in detail but i think right here so they come with manuals if you order one of these brand new this is the xp pro which is this one okay and this one this comes with just the regular blue one so it doesn't have so right here it tells us some of the differences Walbro carb <laughs> yeah take it for what it says uh meteor piston from italy caber rings from italy nicosil treatment cylinder i'm assuming that's just you know the nicosil coating inside the cylinder so it's not going to have a chrome coating inside the bore okay it's going to be nickel seal on this saw versus that saw and oh ngk spark plug now these books are uh pretty they're pretty good i think there's like 40 you know pretty easy to read it's going to cover quite a bit of 40 pages 40 pages of pretty good stuff basic stuff that you should already know but if you don't Ooh, looky there. Technical specifications. Anyway, right there what it says it is. Back to the differences. So carburetor, cylinder, pistons, spark plug. There's a few other things that they don't even tell you about. Like, like looky here. Look at these dogs that come with it. Versus... 
that style of dog. Okay, and I think they've been sticking with this one. They've had this one here for a long time. So that's been their go-to. This is little things like that that's also upgraded. Now, this hydro-dipped coating. Let's talk more about it. Let's look and see so you can exactly get a close-up of what's going on here. Sometimes a little casting might be a little rough. So this is kind of what we're looking like. That's what it looks like on the inside. Give you kind of a close-up. Anyway, not focusing very good, but I will uh, get this put together. And uh, we'll put a bar and chain on it. We're going to go outside and run it. We're going to play with this thing. And then we're probably even going to put a pipe on it and see what else it does with the pipe. So anyway, there you have it. First thoughts. I don't know how long this coating is going to last on um, these wear parts. We'll have to do like uh, in one year down the road. Anyway, I'm going to put a bar and chain on it, and we will go outside and make some cuts, guys. Hang tight. Okay, guys, we made it outside. We got the bar and chain on. So you're probably going to notice right off the bat, I did not go with the full wrap. The reason being, we're going to put a pipe on it here in a minute. Just make it easy to easier to change the pipe around. Um, and this particular customer that this saw is going to, he has different dogs for it. So I only put this outer dog on. I did not put the inner one on. But other than that, I think we've got the carburetor adjusted decently for, for our elevation. Um, you know, we'll find out. We're going to sink her here in some wood. Try to get this set up so it's about right. Not too many. seems pretty close. That's what she looks like. Sure is a pretty thing. One thing, it's it's just hard to go back to stock when you're uh, when you're used to modified saws. Anyway, that's what that looks like. We will uh, Press pause here and uh, put on the pipe. And then we'll see what she does again. So hang tight, guys. Be right back. It's not, not bad. She takes a couple minutes. Especially without. Um, yeah, that cylinder looks good. It does look like it's a Italy meteor cylinder, meteor piston. I would say it's nickel plated by looking at it. But... Get these tight. Yeah, those OEM ones were already loose. So, um, grab that. Grab our spring. Pretty simple. That's what it looks like from that angle. Put that on. Put this pipe on. My kid painted it, so don't. <laughs> and of course, we put it right where sawdust flies. So.
we're not putting the mounting and that's the next thing we'll have to adjust this pipe was built for you know one with different dogs so that's something that can be rotated and moved if you just let that sit there it probably eventually wear a hole through it so more adjustments more modifications Okay, let's try her. Round two. How does that look? Not bad. hopefully you like this kind of stuff um we'll be back to you on this saw we will uh put it through the ringer go do some real log work with it um right out of the box it looks pretty impressive so uh stay tuned for the next one next one we'll, we'll do this same thing with the 660 give us a thumbs up and like and share thanks for watching guys see ya Packaging is pretty impressive with these. Okay, Bubba, jump on them. Look how good the packing lasts, if you can even pop them. Oh, got one. Get them. Jump on them. Oh, that's how good the packing is, guys. Look at that. You got a four-year-old giving it all he's got. Here, this one. Jump on it. Oh, got one. Okay, get those two. Here we go. Oh, jump on it right here. You don't have to run. Okay, run and jump. Oh, good. You have to run and jump to get them, huh? Are, is that good packing? Yeah, four-year-old. Oh, four-year-old approved. Careful, you're going to get hurt. Four-year-old approved packing. <laughs> good packing huh jump on it that's how good it is guys they're getting better every every shipment